Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your tweets. Shaka Hislop with us as is the very elegant as always. Stuart Robson, he's got nothing on underneath, but looks good on top. Uh, why does all the blame go to Ollie? The back line is defending like they're playing in the Sunday League. No organisation whatsoever and a board that's not backed him at all. Even Jurgen Klopp would be sacked if he'd be in a situation like this, Robbo. Uh, no, the manager has to take a lot of the criticism because it doesn't matter how good you're back for or how poor they are, you can always make them better. You've got to work with them day in, day out in training. I, I mean, uh, if you see the very best coaches, they make their, their back four or their back three really solid. They know what they're trying to do. And it looks to me as though the manager and his coaching team haven't done enough work with the defence. They haven't done enough work with the midfielder who are trying to defend. They haven't done enough work with the front players who are trying to defend. Defending starts from the front and works backwards. And I don't think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching team know exactly what their game plan is defensively. That's why he takes the blame. I think it's tough, isn't it, Shaq? Because those who defend Solskjaer have come out and said, look, he hasn't been given the players that he wanted in the transfer market. He gave them the list they weren't given. And I think to a stage, you're like, yep, yeah, OK. But in matches like today, you think, right, you're a coach. Go out there and prove that you're the coach. And today, as we saw against Spurs and against Arsenal, it just isn't working. Uh, I think that speaks uh, uh, to a number of things. Um, the board not backing Solskjaer in, in the way that maybe he would have wanted. You, you could probably suggest that, well, not probably, I think you'd be right to suggest that at the same time, it's an incredibly talented squad that I don't think Ole has got the best out of. I don't think anybody has improved under, under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let's just take Harry Maguire, for example. Remember how good he was for Leicester and why it prompted Manchester United to spend £85 million for him? Now, all of a sudden, you're looking at him and, and he doesn't look a, a shadow of, of, of himself. Uh, it's the same player. A, a lot of that speaks to defensive organisation, a coach working with, with the players, and, and speaks further to the fact that good teams aren't just about buying good players. That works for some, but you have to do some coaching. And I don't think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done that. Same, at the same time, he was given money to bring in Van der Beek. What's going on with him? He, he can't get a game nine times out of ten. So right now, given the cloud that continues to hang over Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, why do you give him $200 million to spend, for argument's sake? This is a weird question because there isn't a, a factual answer to it, Robert, but I'm just intrigued. Half-time, obviously United, probably you could argue one of their worst first-half performances under Solskjaer, I can't imagine him, though, going and screaming and shouting, which I know isn't necessarily always the right thing to do, or giving the players to kick up the backside, or saying, what were you doing for that goal? Really trying to, trying to lift them. He doesn't come across as that sort of manager. No, there's, there's, there's several ways you can kick more out the players in the second half. First of all, you, you might want to scream and shout at them. You might want to uh, uh, give them a kick up the backside. You almost might, might want to put an arm around one or two of them. Right. But you also, and I always felt this as a player, you have to give the right information. This is how we're going to change the game. You're going to play there. We're going to get the ball into that area there. And we're going to start our moves from that position there. We're going to create a 2v1 down the far side. Keep switching. Whatever it may be, if you give good information, the players will take it on board and be inspired by it. And I'm not sure, I don't know, but I'm not yeah. sure that that in information is coming to the players. Shaka, would you have run out to tackle Denver Barr up the field for the first goal? Shaka, run. <laughs> You've never seen him play. <laughs> hey, if I could have gotten that far, i that. I, I fancy myself in a race right now with Denver Barr. I was looking at him running, trying to, trying to keep distance between himself and Matic. I thought, oh, Denver's not making it. Uh, but, but... Yeah, that, maybe that, that's something Henderson should have thought of. Like, right. Listen, I, how it got that wrong, I don't know. How they got it that wrong, I, I don't know. Shaka, when is the point when you know to go? To, um, to, to, to leave your line? Yeah. You, you're looking for an opportunity. You're looking for Dembaba to over push the ball and, and you think you can get there either before him or right, or right after him to, to make it difficult. If his touch is good and he never really, the ball never really runs away from him, then there's not a whole lot you can do. You, but you're waiting for that mistake. Hey, Shaka, can Haaland be one of them to beat Cristiano Ronaldo's single season Champions League goals record? Wouldn't he need to move to Madrid where the quality is higher and more chances often created? Um, 
Listen, I, I think I think Haaland, regardless of, of where he is, is 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 going to break some records, get close to others. But right now, even if he goes to Real Madrid and they dominate European football, I'm I, I'm I don't think he, he's going to break Ronaldo's record. I think what we've seen from Ronaldo and Messi over the last decade, decade plus, is a I, I, I can't see anybody right now getting getting close to it. Would Robbo take back his words? Robbo said a lot of bad words, hasn't he, over the years? Let's see what mm -hmm. he said wrong this time. Would Robbo take back his words about Ronaldo that he's going to be Pirlo's biggest problem at Juventus? Uh, what I what I said when or what I meant when I said that is that when Pirlo dig, goes dig, in, dig. he's got he's got he's got in his he's got in his mind how he wants to play. I'm sure. And he, that, everything has to revolve around Ronaldo because if you play him on the left-hand side, you know he's not going to defend there, so he's got to make sure he's, he's left-sided midfield player, it tucks across and defends for him. He, he knows he's not always going to stay out on the left wing. Were he's going to go wrong? into the centre-forward position. Were you wrong, Robert, you when play? you said that Pirlo's biggest problem would be Ronaldo? No, I didn't say he was going to be a massive problem in terms of a, a troublemaker. It's a problem for the coach when you have such a big player. But it's the same with Koeman with Messi. Are you wrong Messi. now considering how much got they've, one missed player. they've missed him, though, haven't they? Uh, I'm never wrong, Dan. <laughs> never wrong. <laughs> oh, yes. You, you must realise oh, that. Yeah. You, you and know. Mrs Thomas get on so well. OK, yeah. final question. We do, actually. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> Ah, uh, who actually still has the hammer of the year? Now, this is uh, the discussion that you three had, wasn't it? You, Don and Shaka talking about mm. hammer of the year. Who has the trophy? Yep. Is it on display somewhere where you keep it nice and polished for friends and family to enjoy? Or is it collecting dust in a box? So just remind me, Shaka, I know you won it. Did you win it, Robbo, as well? I won the hammer of the year in 88. And where is the hammer? The, it's not a hammer. What I've got is a crystal, some crystal vase with hammer of the year written across it. Wow. And uh, it's in the loft somewhere. Oh, it's not on display, Robbo. It's not as if you've got a lot of trophies. No, I, don't have any, I don't have anything on display, I've well, got to say. Well, that's obviously because you didn't win anything, but like you won that, so that's nice. Oh, <laughs> that's not very nice, is it, Daniel? No, but that's... I've won a lot of individual awards. Well, I'm selfish. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, well, you know I'm selfish. You know exactly what I'm like. I'm very selfish. <laughs> don't care about the team as long as I won something. Yeah, that's all right. Individual award, Paul. Thank you very much. Yeah. I love that. What yeah. other individual awards yeah. did you win, Robbo? Uh, I was in the um, player of the uh, three times player of the uh, player of the month in uh, in 1986. Wow. I was in the PFA team twice. Wow. So you get an award for that. Yeah. PF team, uh, team. I was player of the year at Arsenal and I was player of the year at Coventry. Um, so yeah, they're the individual, most of the individual But they're all in the loft. You've got, you've got no memorabilia out in the house whatsoever. The only thing I've got is uh, caps uh, in, a, okay. in a sort of glass container. Oh, That's nice. the only thing I've got. Oh, very nice. Shaka, you've got it scattered around everywhere, haven't you? Uh, I, I, I think my, uh, I think I got the same as, as Rob or crystal ball somewhere. I think it's a vase. Um, it's not a vase. I, I think <laughs> vase. It's a vase, vase Shaka, it's not a ball. No, I might, no, no, vase. I didn't get a vase. You, hey, hey, like hey, Robbo, 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 you couldn't have given Shaka a ball because he would have dropped it. Hey, go on. Hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. What do you have, Shaka? I was just like, dumb. I imagine like huh? your 2006 World Cup stuff, that must be the most precious to you. Yeah, it is. That's in the loft too. That's not, not out and about. Nah. Oh, why nah. not? I've, 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 I've actually, you know, I haven't taken it out since the World Cup. 14 years? It's just been in the loft? Yeah. Haven't you moved in 14 so, years? Adidas, Adidas, um, they, they sponsored Trans to Bigger for, for 2006, and, and they did a boot specially for the team. So I got a pair of them. I, I got the entire team to sign it, and that's my that's my favorite bit of memorabilia from playing. I I, I don't think I've looked at it since. Oh, Shaq. Yeah, bring it out. Maybe you could pawn it and then buy some AC ready for next summer. 
Well, what, Dan, as you can Dan, see, I've got books. I've got books out on display because I books, read. What books are on display? That's, what, what's it, what are you reading, Shaq? I mean, it's, it's quite highbrow Howard got stuff. Jamie Oliver it? is one. Right. Oh, yeah, uh, that's got, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Taneshi Court. Oh. This is a good one. We were eight years in power. Oh, there you go. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. Dan, yep. Dan, what it says about That's just both a sample Shaka of my reading, Dan. I know, high brow, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. Stevie's, Stevie's got spot the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, I think that's it. I think that brings us to the end of extra time. As always, thank you very much uh, for your tweets. We'll be back tomorrow for more. Until then, goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.